हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट एन नेविगेशन ड्रायर एप्लीकेशन सो यूजिंग एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो एंड जावा प्रोग्रामिंग सो फॉर दिस यू रिक्वायर एन एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो आई एम यूजिंग वर्शन 3.0.1 सो दिस इज एन ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर दैट इज अवेलेबल ऑन द डेवलपर्स फोरम ऑफ एंड्रॉयड सो यू कैन डाउनलोड इट एंड स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग एंड्रॉयड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ यूअर कॉन्सेप्ट और subject so let us start with the android studio so here you need to uh, click on uh, start new android studio uh, project uh, which will be redirected to a window which contains the application name here you need to write the application name i am using a navigation uh, demo uh, application name here so click on next uh, we will be direct, uh, redirected to the activity window where we need to select an activity so i am selecting a navigation to our activity here so after clicking next i'm uh, giving my main i'm redirected to the main activity so keep it uh, the same name as uh, main activity and uh, click on uh, finish so we will be redirected to the android studio uh, main uh, window so we will be uh, displayed with the main activity uh, dot java and content main dot xml so whatever uh, activity we have selected that xml file is been before you so directly we'll go to the app section which contains manifest java and resource in the resource folder i'll go to the menu where it contains activity main dot xml so here is what we have selected initially so this layout we can change or keep the same layout for our application so i am uh, uh, now we need to create uh, the new fragments for, for for that go to new and fragment and create a blank for fragment i will give the same name uh, what is been specified in the uh, activity that is first one is import so i will type import there and uh, other things we don't require that is include fragment factory i'll deselect uh, both the things and i'll click on now uh, finish so it will uh, take us uh, to <clears throat> the import dot java file of that uh, fragment so we don't want java now we need to go to the xml uh, part of it so we'll go to the resources and there the fragment underscore import dot xml so here we have two sections one is text and design i'll select the design to drag and drop the text to view uh, in that particular fragment but it will not uh, let me to uh, properly create that text view because it is an uh, uh not a relative fragment it is so we'll go back to the code uh, of this particular layout so that is main activity uh, dot uh, java so where we will change uh, the th fragment to relative fragment so earlier it was frame fragment we are changing it to now relative layout so relative layout let us to modify the contained type so i am removing the default text view so now it is uh, letting me to create my own uh, layout fragment layout so i am dropping an text view to the center of this uh, fragment okay so the name for this uh, text view i can uh, give in the right side uh, where uh, we have all the attributes so text i am giving as import because this is an import uh, fragment uh, of the main activity so i'll give import uh for that i am making the import as bold for that i need to go to uh similarly we have to do it for the gallery and uh, slide show fragment now go to main activity and uh, import the fragment transaction inbuilt function because for programming each fragment we need this input function so as we have the variable declared now so we use that uh, fragment transaction uh, inbuilt function here so fragment transaction uh, is equal to uh, get uh, support uh, fragment manager uh dot begin transaction begin transaction is a function of uh, get support fragment manager class uh so in this uh, we will write and replace function which will replace so whenever we click on any fragment like import and all so it will be replaced with that particular fragment activity we have created in the xml layout so uh, dot uh, r dot id dot navy gation underscore manager so for that we need to create an frame layout in the uh, main activity dot xml because frame in the frame layout only all the fragments will run so there we'll give the ids uh, for uh, the main container which contains all the uh, fragments 
so main container uh, is the main frame layout which contains all the uh, fragments so main uh, uh, container I will specify here so now I'll go to the activity main dryer XML so where I will uh, change all the uh, main uh, things to now for each uh, fragment I will give my own uh, ID that is for import I will give import uh, so it is an ID for each fragment so like that uh, similarly for all the other fragments I will give the same ID so now we need to uh, use this uh, ID uh, to write uh, the action for that particular fragment to write the action I will uh, use uh, get support action bar dot set title uh, import for this because whenever I click on import it will create an header uh, in, the, in that particular fragment as import and uh, for that after that I will I have to write fragment transaction dot commit so whatever the transaction I have performed so that I need to commit after that uh, so when we select anything on the menu so it is get highlighted no for that I have to use item dot is checked uh, and with a boolean expression called true so instead of is checked you can use uh, mm, it is better to use set checked with a boolean expression as true so that is all for one uh, fragment similarly you can do for other uh, fragments like gallery and uh, similarly you can do the for slideshow also so same thing you need to copy paste the code uh, with uh, the uh, and uh, don't forget to change the ids for that particular fragment that is for gallery you need to specify gallery and uh, for slideshow you need to specify the slideshow So after this, uh, the whole thing uh, for uh, drawer uh, is ready. Navigation drawer is ready. Uh, now I we need to run this particular uh, application we have developed now. So the running thing will directly show it on the device so because it is more comfortable to know whatever we have designed it has been what portable or uh, runnable android application on device or not so let us uh, redirect you to uh, the application on uh, device yes i have uh, installed the application that just i have created uh, in my device so this is the application main activity i had given the application name as navigation demo so let us click on uh, the navigation uh, so here we can see all the three fragments we have uh, created that is import gallery and slide so if i click uh, click on import it will redirect me to the import uh, activity if i click on gallery it will redirect me to the gallery uh, activity and if I click on slideshow uh, it will redirect me to the slideshow activity like this you can create your dynamic application uh, using this uh, navigation drawer so it looks more professional and it looks uh, like uh, navigate to the different functionalities that you have provided uh, in your uh, application so this is uh, all we have created for you so don't forget to leave uh, the comments in the comment section like this video thank you thanks for watching